this Lego robot is designed to climb up the stairs, and although it never actually accomplished this, in this video I'm still going to show you all the cool features and functions of how it was supposed to work, and the features that did end up actually working and doing their part. Before I explain all the little functions of this robot, I'm going to first explain how it was actually supposed to go up the stairs, or the theory behind its design. There are basically three main sections. There's this middle part, then there's this sliding part, which can hold a lot of weight as a counterweight, and then there's these jacks, which can jack it up and down on scissor lifts. And so basically the theory is that if you start down here at the stair, then you can move up a stair with the jacks pushing it up, then you move the heavy part over, then you lift up the jacks, and then you slide the whole thing, the jacks and the main part over onto the new step, and you just repeat this process over and over again until you go up an entire staircase or just a bunch of stairs. This didn't actually end up working because of where the center of mass was and just where all the weight was on this robot. However, with a new design I've already built and we'll make a video on in the future, it should be a problem that's fixed. Now I'm gonna talk about all the different mechanical functions that make this robot possible. The first part of the build I started designing was the feet of the robot. These were super fun to design and build as they required a lot of functionality with a minimal number of parts to keep the weight and size down. Each foot has two tires driven by a motor and extra third wheel for stability. Since the third wheel doesn't have a tire, the robot can use tank steering to turn. Recently having completed a large scissor lift project, I was optimistic about using scissor lifts for the stair climber. From what I have seen, I am the first on YouTube to have used scissor lifts for a LEGO stair climber. Each lift is powered by a large pneumatic cylinder. These would ultimately be the downfall of the creation as they have a lot of friction and are just under way too much pressure. After finishing the feet, I added this small gray platform on top of the lifts, and this would be a good level foundation on which to build the rest of the robot. I started working on the middle section. Using Technic bricks, I first constructed these two large beams with gear teeth on top. Then I built up the middle. This section has six wheel drive and due to a high gear ratio, it can spin pretty fast and move the robot pretty quickly. These smaller pneumatic cylinders lift the entire robot up to give the feet extra clearance. If I didn't run into problems, the plan was to have one hub on each side above the lifts for even weight distribution. This little module on top is responsible for pulling the scissor lifts back up. You may think that the pneumatic cylinders could achieve this, however the scissor lift would always be too loose, and to clear the stairs in my house, I needed the feet to be up tight with the rest of the body. I used a double-sided winch design to pull from both directions with one motor. These were all the main features of the build. This iteration failed by relying too much on just two pneumatic cylinders to lift its immense weight. I hope you enjoyed this video as it took a while to make. If you'd like to see more videos on my creations, just leave a comment as we reply to all comments on all videos.